Team Hypercube in! <laughs> Is that not a thing we do? So, for Halloween, I wanted to combine a dinner party with a board game, and I wanted to use one of my favorites, Betrayal at the House on the Hill. The. The. <laughs> and um, I thought, who better to invite over than Team Hypercube? I know they played it before, they played it a few times with us, and I knew that we could get right into um, a themed version of the game without having to worry about stopping and, and figuring out the rules. I thought that the weirdest part about this game is that, one, it's a game that we play with our friends all of the time, mm -hmm. and two, it's all of our friends that I would consider are probably our closest friends, but the first hour when we had that dinner party was, <laughs> was the most awkward dinner party completely I've ever been to. Awkward conversation. But if you get you get to meta game, you get to that next level. Yeah. We played a game that we're very familiar with with our best friends, but since we were role playing people who don't know each other at this awkward will reading, we actually couldn't really find things to talk about, and it was really, really, really awkward. No common ground. Yeah. I really enjoyed the like murder mystery esque feel of it. Yeah, I think it kind of returned to the to the whole idea that was behind Betrayal at House on the Hill, which is that like you're walking into this abandoned creepy ass house and everybody has a reason to be there, but y you're in the audience and you're saying, why are you going in this creepy room? And there's actually quite a few different experiences or haunts um, for Betrayal that could work as dinner parties. But we decided to choose the voodoo one because a creepy doll tea party is something you don't see very often. So we um, had tea party type foods, we decorated the place with a lot of dolls, the dolls that would end up representing the characters, and some extra fun ones on the table. Goodwill is a great place to look for uh, creepy dolls and teacups and anything else you might need. I would say the best part was the food. Liz is still enjoying the food, oh, good even food. after the game. Obviously as we got into the game things got weirder and weirder and it mm -hmm. got harder for some people. But some people got stuck in a tower. Some people got stuck in a chasm. It just, it just, just happened. Just stuck. How did you die? You survived. Yeah, I, I survived because of that one random piece of armor that I had that I got for myself in the future. Yeah, I got future you went back in time. You know, you have to actually go do that. Yeah, no, I gotta so remind you to do that when yeah, I get home. Yes, I will remind you to put the okay. armor card in the mirror. Okay, Done. cool. We created the, the personalized uh, character cards. Alexander did an Which amazing job with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, how else was it different from... Um, we played as ourselves. And yeah, so the, random people. the little little character cards mm -hmm. were really awesome. I usually play the, the orange girl, and I was Orange Christina, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The hardest part about making personalized character cards is finding pictures of your friends where they look suitably scared. Use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. For some people, it's, uh, it's very, very difficult, like Joe. Joe did not have a lot of scared pictures. For some other people, like Justin, <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> it was hard to find a picture of him smiling. <laughs> I was in a web series. <laughs> we all were in web series. A zombie web series. You know what else I liked is that a lot of times in Betrayal, the first half is just wandering, mm -hmm. and then and then the haunt starts, and then suddenly there's a theme. But I like that this one had a theme throughout. I, I really enjoyed the the additional because like this this is actually one of my favorite games, but uh, but I loved the like the atmosphere that was added to it. So that was really cool. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, the role-playing aspect in games like this is easily ignored, but having the additional flavor there I think really helped. Love the game, love the the, the, the ambiance, the super and awkward. check out Geeky Hostess's post Geeky on Hostess. this thing. If you're curious. It was fun. It was very fun. It was a lot of fun. A little terrifying. I wish that I had lived. Oh. Tell me what's word. Does that uh, stand for anything? Yes, that's actually an anagram for ulterior motives. <laughs> Funny. Funny yeah. how that works out. Eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Team Hypercube out.